Hello everyone and welcome to the Manchester Open 2020. This is uh, the first event back since March and what better place to do it than here at the National Squash Centre in Manchester, host to so many great events over the years. Really good straight drop off the bounce and the volley. Yeah, neither of these players are shy of attacking the front of the court, taking the ball nice and early. That's a lovely shot. Seven five. From slightly behind herself there on the forehand, whipping it round. Down. Ooh. Similar combination Eight, previously that worked very well, just clipping the tin that time. It was made quite uh, quite easy for her in the end. It's a cheap error from Alves handing the first game really to Salma Honey. Yeah, great first game from the Egyptian, stamping her authority towards the end of that game. And she takes it 11 8. Yeah, there was some good attacking stuff from both players. Not too nervous as you might expect from, uh, from this first match really back on Squash TV. Well dug out from Hani. He's showing her defensive skills as well as her attacking oh. skills. Four one. She really Next scrambled five. there, didn't she, Vanessa? Hani. You know, she she's So big lead, eight three in this second game. Hand out, four eight. Nifty little <laughs> trickle boast there. And you'd have been proud of that one, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Seen you play a few of those. Just any any kind of boast, <laughs> really. Coming from Alves in the second half of this game. 11 and she squeezes James it. Hanny. Lovely Hanny forehand drive. Two games to love. So Salma Hani takes that second game, 11-9. She has a two-love lead. Yeah, it was a fantastic squeeze, wasn't it, as we say, on that forehand side. It's probably the first time Alves has actually missed a shot deep in that in that forehand corner. This is probably one of the longest rallies of the match so far. It's a great oh, finish, brilliant. but again, you, Four, it's what you five. keep talking right about, that, side, that cross court, just a little bit too weak, too, too loose from Alves. Yeah, the defensive play from that front, uh, front left has really let her down. So You'd be eight, excused from your, from your duties here to go and watch him. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm allowed to watch, but <laughs> I can watch it on a screen. Oh, oh. she got it. What a pickup. <laughs> Miss Hanny, are you able to um, wipe that, please? Yeah. I think I would have said, are you okay first, but... Uh, <laughs> 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 oh. Get up and get it cleaned. <laughs> Hard taskmaster, Jason Foster. I'll play it again from Alves, just again changing things up on that front, front left. With the trickle boast. Wrong footing, Hani. Down. 11-8, match to Hanny. Hanny, three games to love. 11-8, 11-9, 11 So good start in this tournament for the Egyptian Salma Hanny, taking that match three love. So Hamami just edging ahead in this first game. She's got herself a little three-point lead, 7-4. So nicely five, seven. finished there from the French. She's not looking over.
ambitious shot there from VR, and it's uh, got herself Nine in trouble. Six. Going for the kind of volley boast nick, but not coming off, opening up the court and being punished. Well, Mami pretty much volleying everything to keep the pressure on in this rally. Nice play. Yeah, she read it well. Seven going to Hamami. Hamami so leads one Hamami game. Hamami managing to hold off the French number four. Well, the pressure starting to mount. This is good work here from El Hamami. Yeah. Supping yeah. the tempo. Two, yeah, one. very determined looking start to this second game. Erin trying to find her targets, and now she's really stepping up, putting a bit more bite on every shot. Down. Hand out, 2 5. Eleven two, game to Hamami. Hamami leads two games to love. Yeah, she's reading her really easily yeah. now, getting onto the ball early. I just would like to see a little bit of back to basics. That's a beautiful shot. Took that in well, Vanessa. She did. Five. Nice short back swing. Really good balance. For the young Egyptian. What up? It's well played. 11-3. Match to Mami. So there's Three the acknowledgement the with the rackets. Al Hamami 11, holding 7, off 11, 2, Villar 11, 3. of France. Showed a very, very good first game. Four hands in there. That's why she clips the tin occasionally. Well, she loves that little half volley as well, doesn't she? Yeah. Which is so difficult to control. It's a fine line, isn't it? Taking it early, but you're going to lose a bit of precision. There we go, that's that backhand volley, well picked up by Sobi. And out, 7-3. Yes, yes, you can, yes. <coughs> Players are stopping to uh, wipe themselves down. Just matching pace with pace isn't particularly effective. Definitely. I think one of the advantages of playing a top player, there aren't that many, but one is that you will have seen a lot more of them than they have of you, you know, all the, all the videos over the Four, years of, of Camille. And, I mean, it's mainly quality, but you, if, if there are any weaknesses and any points to play with, though, huge lead in this first game. Out. 11-5, game to turn. And there it is. One game to love. Pretty quick first game. Camille Serm not hanging about. Um, good and movement right. onto that. Three, four. Yeah, she was onto it nice and early there, and that's something she does possess. Uh, pretty good movement, so big. It's explosive, and they were having their, their water breaks uh, halfway through a half, which was really quite quite bizarre. So it's, and obviously it's happening in squash as well. Yeah. It's just, uh, just a, the it's same but in, different. Yeah, indicative of the times.
And out. Five, six. Yeah. Potentially. Huge. Don't bottle it. <laughs> out. 11 Didn't eight, need game to. to Toby. One game all. Well, that was a lot easier than she expected. Not the overall game, but the, the final point. My great effort, nevertheless, by Sabrina Sobi to take that second game and draws level at one all. Up. And out. Yes, you can, yes. Just feeding Serm there a little bit, so Eight, big. Four. We're talking about keeping it away from that volley, keeping it away from waist to, to shoulder height. That was right in the hitting zone for Serm. Out. But she only needs the Eleven, one. Six games to Serm. Serm leads two games to one. Camille Serm taking the third game, 11-6. Yeah, the tightening of the screws, as it were. Too love. I mean, I... Um, I used to hate making hitting the tin, but I uh, once played Peter Nickel, and he'd... That was the way we were kind of trained to play, wasn't it? Just cut out the errors, oh. whereas now I think that was pretty wow. good. <laughs> One three. That'll do. Does she get an extra point for that? That was outrageous. Let's have another look. I, did, I sort of missed it. I was <laughs> trying to talk. You're looking at me. Oh. That was a... Um, Decent rally here, both players hitting their targets. Or were hitting their targets <laughs> towards the back of the court, but complete wrong footer. Not Six, sure where, where Sobi was going there. Just a wry smile from her. Didn't see that one at all. <laughs> She's got the 2-1 lead here, so she desperately wants to close out in four if she can. She's got a few opportunities to do it. That's well played. Six match to Serm. There Three it is. To one. Camille Serm goes 11, through five, to the second eight, round. 11 6, 11 6. With a 3 1 win against Sabrina Sobi. Sobi taking her first ever game against Camille Serm. So uh, certainly nothing to be ashamed of with that performance. that King's played so far. It's a wealth of experience, obviously, for the Kiwi at this level as well. So it's oh a, oh wow. That was an unbelievable that was, that was shot. That was a ridiculous shot. Slam Duncan. Eight, four. Oh, Joe King. Cleaning through Vanessa in this back end of the first game. It was a, an early lead for the Latvian number one. Down. Yes, yeah, stretching out the movement. Six. Game to King. King leads, one game to love. So Joel King, after a slightly slower start, but it was a rip-roaring start really from the Latvian number one. It's a lot better when she starts to push up the court like she's doing here. 
using that reach and power. That's better pressure from Maskovic. She needs to try and believe in herself. I know it's easier said than done, but she's come to this tournament for a reason. When she closes a court down like that, that's... So Joel King game ball. storms to a full game ball opportunity for a two-love lead, Again, reading this one. A full stretch, just looking a bit uncomfortable there when she stretched into those front corners. Down. 11-6, game to King. King leads two Tough games times to out there for the Latvia number one. Joel King sealing the deal in the second game. Getting herself in a good position now. You're going to put yourself under a lot of pressure, and I just feel shot wise as well, she's slightly overstretching because of that. Again, looking a little bit yeah, uncomfortable, a bit ragged. 4 1. And Joel King buzzing away. From his point of view, it'd be really nice for her to kind of finish on a more positive note, really take the game in these last. Possibly last few rallies to the Kiwi as she's doing there, so that's better. Yeah, much Three better. Seven. Just better. trying to put a few good rallies together towards the end of this match. Eleven. So Joel King. Five. Sealing the deal. To King, three games to love. Some encouraging signs there from Maskovic. A tough 11, call 6, for her 11, coming 6, up against 11, somebody 5. of Joel King's quality in this early stage of this event here in Manchester. But 